The golden era of Hollywood, a time of glitz and glamour, produced some of the most unforgettable stars in the entertainment industry. Their careers were marked by dramatic highs and lows, and their love lives were no less tumultuous. In fact, many of these stars lost their virginity at an unexpectedly young age. Let's delve into the personal lives of a few of these legendary figures. For instance, did you know that Marilyn Monroe, the ultimate sex symbol of the 1950s, lost her virginity at the tender age of 15? Or that James Dean, the rebellious heartthrob of the same era, was also just 15 when he had his first sexual encounter? And it may come as a surprise that Elizabeth Taylor, the violet-eyed beauty who married eight times, lost her virginity at the age of 14. These stars, and many others like them, were not only known for their on-screen talent, but also for their off-screen escapades. Their love lives were as much a part of their public persona as their acting abilities, and their stories continue to fascinate us to this day. Join us as we explore the lives of some of Hollywood's most iconic stars, and the surprising details of their early sexual experiences. Joan Crawford, born Lucille Fay Lesswer, was one of Hollywood's most enduring and versatile stars. Even from a young age, Crawford showed a keen interest in performing, which led her to attend the St. Agnes Convent as a boarding student. It was there, at the age of 13, that Crawford lost her virginity, marking the beginning of a complex and multifaceted personal life. Crawford's romantic life was the subject of much speculation and gossip throughout her career. She was romantically linked to various Hollywood figures, including Clark Gable and Spencer Tracy. However, Crawford ultimately married four times, with each marriage bringing its own set of challenges and triumphs. Her first husband was Douglas Fairbanks Jr., whom she married in 1929. The marriage was short-lived, and the couple divorced in 1933. Crawford's second marriage, the franchise tone, was more successful, lasting from 1935 to 1939. Crawford and Tone were one of Hollywood's most glamorous couples, and their marriage was the subject of much media attention. Despite the success of her second marriage, Crawford's personal life remained tumultuous. She married Philip Terry in 1942, but the couple divorced in 1946. Crawford's fourth and final marriage to Alfred Steele lasted until his death in 1959. Throughout her career, Crawford was known for her fierce determination and unwavering dedication to her craft. She starred in a wide range of films, from early silent movies to critically acclaimed dramas like Mildred Pierce, for which she won an Academy Award. Crawford's personal life may have been complex, but her impact on Hollywood is undeniable. She remains a beloved figure in the world of classic cinema, and her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Despite the challenges she faced, Crawford persevered, leaving behind a body of work that continues to captivate and inspire. Ava Gardner, one of Hollywood's most glamorous and alluring stars, lost her virginity to her first husband, actor Mickey Rooney, when she was 19 years old. Born on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina, Gardner was the youngest of seven children. She was discovered by a photographer while working in a pharmacy in New York City, which led to her contract with MGM in 1941. Gardner's marriage to Rooney lasted only a year, and their relationship was fraught with difficulties due to Rooney's infidelity. After their divorce, Gardner married jazz musician Artie Shaw in 1945. However, their marriage was also short-lived, lasting only a year. Gardner later said that Shaw was intellectually demanding and that she felt inferior to him. In 1951, Gardner married her third and final husband, singer and actor Frank Sinatra. Their relationship was highly publicized and they were one of Hollywood's most glamorous couples. However, their marriage was also marked by Sinatra's infidelity and Gardner's struggles with alcoholism. They divorced in 1957, but remained close friends for the rest of their lives. Throughout her career, Gardner was romantically linked to various Hollywood luminaries, including Howard Hughes and Ernest Hemingway. She was known for her beauty, charm, and wit, and she had a reputation for being fiercely independent and unconventional. Gardner's film career spanned four decades, and she appeared in over 60 films. She received critical acclaim for her roles in The Killers, Magambo, and The Night of the Iguana. In 1964, she was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Night of the Iguana. Despite her success, Gardner struggled with personal issues throughout her life. She battled alcoholism and struggled with self-doubt and insecurity. In her later years, she retired from acting and lived a quiet life in London. Ava Gardner passed away on January 25, 1990. At the age of 67, she left behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most glamorous 
and alluring stars, known for her beauty, talent, and independence. Her life and career continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Lauren Buckhall, even today, remains a name synonymous with Hollywood's golden age. Her distinctive voice and signature look, a sultry gaze made famous by her first film, To Have and Have Not, catapulted her to stardom in the 1940s. Buckhall's career spanned decades, and she became one of the most iconic actresses of her generation. Born Betty Joan Persk on September 16, 1924, in the Bronx, New York, Buckhall's interest in acting began at a young age. She started her career as a fashion model before transitioning to acting, eventually adopting the stage name Lauren Buckhall in 1945. At the age of 19, Buckhall married her first husband, Humphrey Bogart, who was 25 years her senior. It was during this time that Buckhall lost her virginity. Their marriage lasted until Bogart's death in 1957, and the couple had two children together. Following Bogart's death, Buckhall went on to have relationships with other notable figures in Hollywood, including Frank Sinatra and Jason Robards. With Robards, Buckhall had one son, Sam, in 1961. Buckhall's career was not without its challenges. She faced sexism and ageism in the industry, but she continued to work steadily, appearing in films, on stage, and on television. She received numerous accolades for her work, including Tony Awards, a Golden Globe, and an Academy Honorary Award in 29. Buckhall's impact on Hollywood and popular culture is undeniable. Her distinctive voice and look have been parodied and imitated countless times, and her films remain classics to this day. Buckhall passed away on August 12, 2014, but her legacy lies on through her work and the many lives she touched throughout her career. Bette Davis, born on April 5, 1908, in Lowell, Massachusetts, was one of Hollywood's most iconic actresses. Her career spanned several decades, and she became known for her powerful on-screen presence and versatile acting style. Davis's personal life was also the subject of much attention. She married four times throughout her lifetime. Her first husband was musician Harmon Oscar Nelson Jr., whom she married in 1932. Davis claimed that she remained a virgin until she and Nelson were married, which was a rare assertion for a Hollywood actress at the time. In 1938, Davis married New England innkeeper Arthur Farnsworth. Their marriage was short-lived, however, as Farnsworth died just two years later in 1940. Despite the brevity of their union, Davis was devastated by his death, and even wore black for a year as a sign of mourning. Davis's third marriage was to artist William Grant Sherry in 1945. They had a daughter together, but their marriage was fraught with tension, and they eventually divorced in 1950. Finally, in 1950, Davis married actor Gary Merrill. They had adopted two children together, but their marriage was also tumultuous, and they divorced in 1960. Throughout her life, Davis was known for her strong-willed personality and refusal to conform to societal expectations. She paved the way for future generations of actresses and remains an enduring symbol of Hollywood's golden age. Jean Harlow, born in 1911, quickly became one of the most iconic and glamorous actresses of the 1930s. Known as the Blonde Bombshell, Harlow's striking platinum blonde hair and captivating on-screen presence made her a standout in Hollywood. Harlow's journey to stardom began at a young age when she moved to Hollywood with her mother. It was there that she attended a Michigan summer camp and lost her virginity to a boy at the age of 14. This early experience, while significant, did not deter Harlow from pursuing her dreams of becoming an actress. Throughout her career, Harlow was known for her tumultuous personal life, which included three marriages. Her most notable romantic relationship was with actor William Powell, whom she met on the set of the 1934 film Reckless. The couple became engaged, but unfortunately, Harlow's untimely death at the age of 26 ended their plans for a future together. Despite her personal struggles, Harlow's talent, and on-screen charisma shone through in every role she played. Her legacy as a trailblazing actress continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this